First at noon, the president's response. President Donald Trump takes to Twitter following reports he used profanity to describe the home countries of many immigrants, including Haitians. The president made the comments during a meeting with other lawmakers about immigration reform. It set off a firestorm, including here in South Florida, where we have the largest population of Haitians within the United States. Let's begin our live team coverage in the studio with CBS4's Lauren Pastrana. Lauren? Elliot, the debate over immigration reform is being overshadowed by reports of presidential profanity in the Oval Office. Several lawmakers are calling the comments racist on the same day he signs a declaration honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Republicans and Democrats alike are condemning the president's reportedly racially charged comments made about immigrants from Haiti and African countries. This is a pattern of racist statements. Those comments, if they're true as reported, are wildly inappropriate. I can't defend it. Um, I don't think anybody can. President Trump, denying he referred to those other countries as blank holes, tweeted, quote, never said anything derogatory about Haitians other than Haiti is obviously a very poor and troubled country. Never said take them out, made up by Dems. I have a wonderful relationship with Haitians, probably should record future meetings. Unfortunately, no trust. Cameras weren't in the meeting, but Democratic Senator Dick Durbin was. In the course of his comments, uh, said things which were hate-filled, vile and racist. I use those words advisedly. I understand how powerful they are. But I cannot believe that in the history of the White House, in that Oval Office, any president has ever spoken the words that I personally heard our president speak yesterday. Congressman Mario Diaz Ballard's office confirms he was also in the meeting, but he didn't directly address the controversy in his statement to CBS4. He wrote, quote, There are almost 800,000 young DACA beneficiaries who will face imminent deportation in March if we do not reach a deal. I will not be diverted from all possible efforts to continue negotiating to stop the deportations. Nothing will divert my focus to stop the deportation of these innocent people whose futures are at stake. But his colleague, Congresswoman Ileana Ross Leighton, had plenty to say about the the president's alleged remarks. Shame on him. It is reprehensible. It is disgusting. It's racist. There's no way to say if you want people coming here from Norway, a predominantly white country, and no one coming from Haiti, a predominantly uh, black country, I don't know how you can conclude that that's anything but racism. Florida is home to the largest population of Haitians in the U.S. As a candidate, Mr. Trump courted the Haitian American vote here. The Haitian people deserve better. And that's what I intend to give them. Speaking on Fox News this morning, Governor Rick Scott, a Trump supporter, had this to say. If the reports are true, you know, uh, he, should, he should take them back. I disagree with them completely. Um, you know, we love people coming into our state. Uh, they're part of the fabric, fabric of our state. It's part of how we're building this great economy where we're growing way faster than the rest of the country. So we have very good legal immigration in our state. President Trump just signed an MLK Day proclamation. We, we carried it live here on CBS4, but he did not answer any questions from the press. Senator Durbin says Republican Senator Lindsey Graham actually spoke up during the meeting and challenged the president's comments to his face. Durbin says that took incredible political courage, and he respects Lindsey Graham for it. Elliot? Lauren, thank you.